Welcome back to my channel. 2020 has been a heck of a year. And as I bet we're all hoping, this one will be a lot different. We've seen a, a lot of changes recently, especially in terms of the way people now work, with more of us working from home than ever before. By the way, if you are working from home, how are you finding it? Let me know in the comments below. For those new to remote working or a seasoned pro, I'm here to support you in your search for a remote UX UI job role. When people are able to return to working from the office again, most of the advice that I'm giving will still be helpful as it's all around landing a job in tech. Hello, and for those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Jadine and I'm a user experience designer and I make videos about design, research and accessibility. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to find a remote UX job. I've mentioned finding a UX UI role, as in some cases, it is required to have some experience in UI design. I've made this video all part of a series on remote working, where I will take you through how to find a remote UX job, what to put in your UX portfolio, UX interview questions, and remote interview tips. But first, Let's start with how to find a remote UX job, as the job you decide to apply for will influence what you put in your portfolio and the type of questions that you should prepare for. As a bit of context for you, in my previous role, I was based in an office until the pandemic hit last year. And with many other people, I've moved to working from home in March. You may have seen my first video, which talks about my working from home routine. My previous employer saw that the company was working well from home and decided to change the company structure to be fully remote. Then, fast forward to the end of last year, I started a new role where I was interviewed and onboarded remotely. I've not met a single person in person yet. So I am coming to you with a range of experience going through the whole job application and onboarding process remotely. Having done that, I'm now equipped with plenty of tips and advice to support you to do the same too. So the reason you're here is to find out where to find these remote UX jobs. And finding one is simpler than you think. As popularity increases, job boards rise to meet the demand and are specialising in remote careers. Here are some to name a few. Flex jobs. FlexJobs was created in 2007 to find a better way of providing professional, remote and flexible job roles with over 50 career categories and jobs ranging from entry level to executive, freelance to full time, they offer something for almost anyone. Then we have Remote.co. Founded by the same woman as FlexJobs, Remote.co helps companies hire remote employees. They have helpful blogs, Q and A's for employers and employees and job listings too. We work remotely. Trusted by the world's leading tech companies, this online board allows job seekers to look for jobs that are unrestricted by location and consistently being updated. Remote OK. Remote OK provide a daily listing of remote employment opportunities. You can sign up to receive email updates when new jobs in your category are posted. In addition to online job boards, there is social media. Now, I've not come across jobs advertised on YouTube, but if you take a walk over to Twitter, you may or may not be surprised to find companies and individuals promoting job vacancies. Design Twitter, I found, is incredibly supportive. So if you can't see many job opportunities, start to follow designers at companies that you're interested in working at. Also, follow the companies themselves. And don't be afraid to put a tweet explaining that you're looking for a UX role and see if Design Twitter can help you. Don't forget to hashtag UX as this will increase your visibility. But 
It's not all take, take, take. Make sure that you give back to the community by retweeting others and interacting with their content too. Through doing this, you can build some good friendships and meet other designers over Twitter as I found. Facebook groups would be my next social media recommendation. Join UX slash UI Facebook groups and like Twitter, interact with the community, make friends and seek out job opportunities. And finally, under the umbrella of social media, I have saved the best for last, and that is LinkedIn. If you've not seen my previous videos, you may or may not know of my love for LinkedIn, especially when it comes to finding UX job roles. I dare say that in some cases, the job will find you, as I've been connected to three roles through LinkedIn. Here, you're able to create a profile, search current vacancies and connect with recruiters who often are able to bring great opportunities to you. You still have to do the work on your CV, portfolio and interview prep, but the finding of the role is made a lot easier with their help. And there you have it. Now you have a few places to look for your remote jobs. Pay careful attention to the application requirements as this will give you a good idea of what to include in your portfolio. Look out for my next video on what to include in your UX design portfolio where I'll break it down into detail and give you a structure to work with. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and you can get notified when the next video in my remote work series is out. And if you have any questions about UX careers, or additional places that you'd like to share to find remote jobs, drop them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.